Ladies and gentlemen, your hosts for the Sunday, for the Sunday Times Gen Next Awards 2022 are Zanele Potelwa, radio personality from 5FM and a presenter on the popular lifestyle show Selma Tunzi, and her co-host Monique de Villiers, newsreader and on-air personality on 5FM. <laughs> And we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you look so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Listen, we have been waiting 365, 255 billion trillion in. Listen properly. We have been waiting for forever to be able to officially say, welcome to the 18th Sunday Times Gen Next Awards, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my goodness. So I'm sure we all know that last year, all of this was online. We were watching from home. However, today we have you at home who is joining us from no matter where you are, as well as our live audience. Please, can they hear you, please? Come through, yes. And of course, today, my beautiful co-host and colleague, Monique. Oh my goodness. Hello, everyone. It's amazing to be here. I am so excited to be here at the coolest awards in the country. And I mean, just look at these, these amazing faces, all these young people in the crowd. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> you have joined for the hippest and hoppest happening event in the country mm -hmm. this year. That's I right. I mean, come on. And obviously, we do have people watching at home. A big shout out to you. We wish you were here with us, but we feel you in spirit. 100%, baby. Now look. The biggest welcome, of course, like brands, we love you. Shout out for getting it right with the kids. This is why you are here. Love it. But our beautiful VIPs. Hi, guys. Hello. Yes. I love this. You guys are the ones who voted. You are the ones who said these are the brands that are getting it right with us. And we are so glad that you did because today we get to celebrate them. And we celebrate you guys having a voice because that's important, right? 100%. So I want to first and foremost, before we get to everything else, we've got to thank the people that make this possible. Thank you so much to our headline sponsors, How Train Management Agency and Brand SA, of course. <laughs> With Yellowwood, of course, as our research partner, as well as, yes, Yellowwood, we see you, come on. We also need to thank Standard Bank, Mercedes-Benz, proudly South African, Doritos, come through, Telcom, Finpuff, McDonald's, and Cliff Central as our corporate partners. We see you all. Can we give them a round of applause? Come on. <laughs> so our hashtag is hashtag ST. Gen Next. Please don't get it wrong. We want to see all of your tweets, your pictures, absolutely everything that you think while you watch from home. Make sure it is Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok, right, Monique? I mean, preferably TikTok. I'm just saying, I don't have any favorites, but I mean... If I you mean, mm. absolutely everything in between. We want to see it. Hashtag ST Gen Next. Let's make this trend like we do each and every year. And guys that are in the front, our VIPs, we want to do something with you, right? And this is to make sure that we're always like together. Cool? So, it's very small, very simple. Whenever we say, when we say Gen what, you go Gen Next. Then we go Gen what, and you go? Gen Next. That's, That's right. It. So can we try it like officially? Are we happy to do that? All right. So when we say Gen, Gen what, what, you say Gen Next. Gen what? Gen what? That's right. Can you give them a round of applause, please? Oh, man. We love it. Now, Monique, do you know there's a specific word that I never want to hear ever again in my whole entire existence? I feel like you're going to tell us, which is ironic because you'd never want to hear I, it again. I, I mean, I have to. Okay, okay. okay. Everyone sense. brace yourselves. <laughs> it's happening. So, the word pandemic. I don't want to see it again. There's no time. I don't want to see it. That is where the danger is. Do you know what I mean? I also knew, though, that our masks, they were on the way out. You see that day that the mask dribbled our president, Sora Maposa? You see, at that point when he put the mask over his face instead of his mouth, it was like, ah, he's going to get them out of there because thought, I'm the president. I thought you weren't going to diss our president tonight. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so we say it with love. We say it with love. <laughs> well, so if you're watching. Sure, this. of course he is. But there were so many different things that got us through lockdown, right? From the likes of TikTok trends like Umland. Mm. Yeah, mm. okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, even the likes of things that, you know, we didn't even know would get us through, right? I mean, things like crazy documentaries. Tiger King's, uh, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Exactly. Anyone there? 
Right, exactly. not the youngsters, that's cool. That's, that's cool. right, that's, that's right. Cool. <laughs> but, my fellow compatriots, I do not want you to lie. You also know that those family meetings, they got us through that time. As much as they were annoying that he used to just kind of tell us they were going to happen, we were then reminded that, you know what, we're actually not alone. And we are, in fact, together. And thus, we are able to celebrate once again being together. And we're so glad that you are with us here tonight. But, somewhere else where the danger is, you see the history papers of the future. You know, so you guys write history tests, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, can you imagine having to, like, remember COVID-19, like, the date it started, when it ended, Cyril losing his iPad, like... Has he found it yet? I honestly, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure. Uh, Nick Cannon having his 100th baby. That hasn't happened yet, but I'm waiting. Thank you very much. I'm, yeah. Maybe you guys know this one, when uh, Will Smith went and hit Chris Rock. Yeah, 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 you got that? Yeah, People yeah, yeah. will be talking about that, can confirm. 100% history-making stuff. Even the Queen... How fearless leader passing away, oh dear. But RIP, yes. there was even a time, in contrast to that, when Donald Trump was trying to convince us to inject bleach into our skin, everybody. Yeah, dark times as a human race. However, we have moved past, and thus, we get to be here and celebrate. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So, just over 5,000 young South African voices were heard for this year's Gen Next survey. That's, that's some of you guys right here. Yeah. Can I get a shout out? Yay! There we go. <laughs> now, connecting with youth means getting to grips with their culture and their behavior. And this is where Yellowwood's junior board of directors, or JBODs, come in. I, uh, fun fact, used to be a JBOD myself, so I know exactly what we're talking about. We yes. are some of the coolest kids in the country, and uh, I'm about to prove that because they are the hottest kids in SA. They are the SA sharpest kids, teens, young adults, yes. and they give brands deep insights into what will fly and essentially what will fall. Mm -hmm. Before we kick off with the first set of awards, let's hear a few words from business manager of Arena Holdings, Tiny Kawaho. Yes! Can we give a round of applause, please? Good evening, everybody. I mean, we all have to celebrate after the last two years. I mean, we were locked. The lockdown didn't only lock, I mean, South Africa only, the world was actually, we couldn't go anywhere. Thank you both of you for making this year awards doubly special, the virtual as well, everybody in the room. Um, a global pandemic, you said you don't wanna hear pandemic. <laughs> Racial uh, reckonings, governmental impeachments, but also Olympic uh, medal triumph and beautiful acts of camaraderie and community. I can't really find one word that can summarize um, what we went through. And all I can say is that crisis, whenever there's a crisis, there's always going to be an opportunity. With events that have shaped the past two years, it has shown that we have hope, resilience, unity, and we show what South Africa is all about, Ubuntu. The pandemic made us realize that we all need the human contact. I mean, look at us here and the vibe that is in this room tonight. The Sunday Times Gen Next campaign has also embraced resilience strategies to protect against market disruption and to retain, capti uh, captivate the youth by keeping things advancing forward. We also have a virtual audience as well as the audience in the room. Today we hosted our first showcase since 2019 and what a time it has been. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing the bright faces of the youth and having the venue filled with loud. Earlier on, there were school kids and other young people in the building. We are delighted to welcome you back in person as well as the virtual um, audience. Thank you for joining us as we host our first ever hybrid Sunday Times Gen X Award Ceremony. The Sunday Times Gen X event now in its 18th year is the leading annual youth brand preference and consumer behavior event. 
would like to extend our appreciation to all our 2022 partners that were mentioned earlier on. Um, we value your support for this initiative, Yellowwood. Um, going forward, and a special thanks to everyone who had made this um, event today possible. I would also like to thank our loyal clients for their support, especially in today's uh, ever-changing dynamic uh, marketing environment. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road and wishing all the nominated brands good luck this evening. To you. Yes. So it is a good luck indeed because trust me, it was very tight. It was very hectic, but the youth have voted. And speaking of which, guys, are you ready to show us that you're here once again? Both everybody here and everyone at home. Are you ready? Beautiful. So when we say Gen what, you say Gen next. Gen what? Gen what? Gen next. Gen what? We there love to see it. We are going to be getting into our awards very, very soon. But thank you so much to you, Tiny. All of this would not be possible without incredible people like you. But now, let's hear from the Head of Youth Strategy at Yellowwood, Unolita Mkwanazi. Please give a round of applause. So lovely to be in a packed room. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Times Gen Next Awards. Thank you for joining us as we bring you this year's awards. I know some in attendance are veterans of this event, but as Yellowwood, this is our first year that we're actually having a live event, so we are super excited. Yellowwood believes that strategic marketing has the power to change human and business behavior for the better. We are celebrating 25 years of dri driving top line, sustainable top line growth for our, for our brands that we work with. The Gen X study is a joint initiative between the youth division as well as the data strategy team. It comprises of two reports, the Gen X brand preference report as well as the Gen X youth behavior report. The pref brand preference report is commonly known as the coolest brand and it's the reason we are here today. Um, what's abundantly clear from, that, uh, from the 2021 results when we viewed them is that the brand that serve youth well ha have a way of building resonance with young people. This is not just a conversation for brands that target young people, it's also a conversation for brands that um, build a more mature audience similar to what Woolworths, um, who target a more mature audience similar to Woolworths, who have been able to really understand the experience and then build a brand, uh, build a brand story around that experience. Looking at the 2021 results, I would like to really commend Coca-Cola, who have been top of their category for the past, um, since the inception of this, uh, of the Gen Next Youth Re Behavior Report. Hopefully, tonight, they'll also do the same. This is because the brand has really been able to understand cultural insights as well as understanding the, the youth and building that into a brand narrative that resonates with different generations of young people. It's also important to remember that brands who continually build resonance with young people who are early adopters of technology um, as they have a very, it's really important that you build resonance with them because they really influence um, their parents in terms of the tech brands that they want to be a part of. For example, my three-year-old daughter thinks that my cell phone belongs to her. We're constantly fighting about her wanting to watch yet another episode of Coco Melon on YouTube Kids. I'm, sh I'm, I'm willing to see how that changes the older she gets. The Gen Next Youth Behavior remain, uh, Report's main objective is to help businesses to understand young people better. On the 23rd of September, we'll be hosting the Gen Next Youth Insight Session where I will sharing insights about um, what is actually happening in the minds of young people. I will be joined by Pete Curry, who is the Chief Creative Officer at Hunt Lascaris as he shares the future trends that marketers need to be aware of in their communication. In addition, we will round up a panel of some of the brands that have really been great at building resonance with young people. And this will be happening in a webinar on the 23rd of September. So it will be great if you could join us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much. Thank you, thank you, Nolita. We appreciate people like you who keep us informed about what it is the youth wants. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to make a little bit of noise again. Just a little, just a little. I want to ask you real quick from our VIPs to all of the brands that are here today. Are you ready for the 18th Sunday Times Gen Next Awards? Yay! Let's do this. Now, for our first set of awards, this is something that I know that the youth has really just, you know, kind of made really big. I've heard that looking like a snack is almost a 24-7 job. You know, making sure that you look good, looking great and all those things. I've also heard that you can put it at the top of your CV. You, you know, Zanella says she's heard this, but she is living that. Oh, so. My fellow snack, I love you, I do. However, I know that it is something that is very important to us because we've got to look good for all of those videos that we're putting out on social media, right? So, in the very first set of awards tonight, it is the image and grooming category. <laughs> When getting ready, my routine is very simple. I use Vaseline, Aquafresh toothpaste, Protex soap, Stasso Pro hairspray. I use these products because they are my favorite products to use. I tend to take my extra money to buy self-catering um, products like skin products and bath and body and nail polish and makeup um, as, a, as a way of kind of spoiling myself and giving myself rest. So that's... Um, where my money goes. Thank you so much to our J-Bodders. You used to do that, right? That could have been me, but they decided that you'd seen enough of my face no, for tonight. That's it, but we like having you here with us, Mon. But let's jump right into it. Who are the brands who are getting it right with the youth? I am so excited for you all because, yes, this is what we live for. First up, let's find out whose threads are giving thrills in the coolest clothing store category. And the finalists are... In third place, Sports Scene. In second place, Nike. And the 2022 winner, ladies and gentlemen, it is Mr. Price! Yay! Can we give them a little round of applause? Some of us are only dressed because of them. Well done, congrats, congrats. A young picture over there. over there paparazzi in the building yes beautiful well done guys lovely lovely ha 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 you guys you mustn't be stingy with clubs eh? some of you are only dressed because of mr price please thank you all right let's find out who's the freshest when it comes to the coolest female deodorant and the finalists are in third place plagal in second place dove and first place goes to Nivea. There we go. hair you know the youth it's always like new hair don't care stop lying we know that you do this is why you spend as much as you do on it the youth definitely do so let's find out who's whipping heads in the coolest hair care product category and the finalists are in third place dove in second place soften free and a fabulous first yet again is dark and lovely <laughs> Let's give them a round of applause, please. 
from killer contouring to Kylie inspired pouts, makeup keeps our youth looking on point. But let's see which coolest makeup brand is on fleek. And the finalists are, in third place, Revlon. Second place, L'Oreal. And taking first place yet again is Avon. Woo -hoo! Freshest female deodorant is, but who rates top when it comes to the coolest male deodorants? And the finalists are, ladies and gents, in third place, English Blazer. In second place, Playboy. And first place goes to Nevia Man. But is everyone at Nivea getting a raise? Oh. I just want to know. Okay, all right. Malls have always been a youth hangout favorite. But let's see who this year's coolest shopping mall goes to. And the finalists are, in third place, Gateway. Second place, Sandton City. And taking first place again this year is the mega shopping mecca, Mall of Africa. Nice. <laughs> Shout out Mall of Africa and also all the nominees. I don't know if you guys heard our VIPs shouting. It's because oh. there are people who make malls look like mazes. Eh? You had the movies, then now you had Siwaka Berry, then you had, mm -mm, stop that. Mm -mm. All the other malls that you know. All the nominees though, you got it right. That's why you're here and shout out. But let's look at who keeps the youth looking fresh from tip to toe in the coolest specialist health, beauty and accessory store. These are the guys who make us spend all our money. Yo, I you go know. there because you've got flu. Now you're buying makeup products and you're buying sweets you've I never heard of. I was that person today. It's Ex the truth. You I've, see. My bank balance is not quite the same. It is not, but it's okay. We like spending our money on you and that is why you are here. And the finalists are, in third place, Woolworths. In second place, Duskem. I know you guys are like, who's going to win now? <laughs> who's going to win? Number one in 2022 goes to Click. Looking lovely, ladies. Yay! Amazing! Gorgeous! Can we give them another round of applause, please? Come through. Beautiful! Congratulations. Oh, yes. So, yes. A very big congratulations to all of the winners thus far. Yes, there are more winners to be made, so hold on to your seat, please. But also, please don't forget whether you're sitting with us right now or are at home. We are so glad that you're with us, and that's why we need to ask you, please do not forget the hashtag STGenNext, because that is what we're here for. We're here to make sure that everybody knows what the youth are loving, who they can trust, and who it is they continue to give all of their money. But wait, actually, as kids, we don't have money, so you're using your parents' money, actually. 
Oh, perfect. That's fine. That's, that's what we you know. need to do, my love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the next set of awards are for media and technology. The digital world is honestly and truly constantly evolving and already dramatically affects how we interact with and adapt to technology and our ever-changing world. Well, let's find out who's doing the right things with the youth, particularly in media and technology. <laughs> Technology has allowed me to distance learn um, this year. Samsung still sells the trendiest and coolest products and Google is the best searching engine. I would say technology has a huge role in my life because I use technology to do online school and if I didn't have technology then I wouldn't be able to do online school. So I've joined this study servers in Discord that is for tutoring and for study friends up around the world. Technology helps with everything, with my drumming, with my gaming, with my movies, with YouTube and Google and my school. <laughs> Exactly that, the youth connecting with technology in the biggest way possible. But let's see who grabs our attention in the coolest advertising medium. And the finalists are, ladies and gents, in third place, Instagram. In second place, YouTube. And who do you think wins, guys? Who do you think wins? It is TikTok! (laughs) Now, unfortunately... Unfortunately, TikTok is not able to be with us today, but our Jay Bodder will be accepting it on our behalf. So can we give a round of applause to our TikTok CEO for the day? Beautiful. Smart technology has revolutionized everything, and online shopping is fast becoming the trendiest of the trends. Zanella, do you like to shop online? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's lying. Yeah. She's yeah, lying. Did you, know, did you notice how she was talking about the malls earlier? Yeah. It's because she goes to the malls. I, if I can buy something online, you know I'm going to because it's the way forward. And that's fine. But in COVID, where was I? I was at home. And I had to shop where? Online. That's true. Okay, Dan there we go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she got me there. So let's find out who is the coolest online store. And the finalists are, in third place, Mr. Price. In second place, Sheen. And convenience, price, and transactional efficiency, which is their aim, and it's proven to be quite successful, goes to takealot.com. Beautiful. Let's take a picture. (laughs) Unfortunately, Take A Lot could not be here today. But they are watching and they are out there doing all the deliveries, which exactly. is exactly why they're not here today. Exactly. Because who was going to take the lot to the lot of South Africa if they were here? Come on, get it together, everyone. <laughs> this next one. The power of radio is still a force to be reckoned with. And do not tell us different. We work in radio. We won't have jobs if you Please. do. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. However, everyone has a favorite radio station, no matter who you are, where you are in South Africa. Let's see who the coolest radio station goes to this year. And the finders are, in third place, East Coast Radio. In second place, Ukozi FM. And in first place, the ruler of radio for the 10th year in a row, the mighty Metro FM! Hey, Mama. Yay! Come through, ladies! Hey, oh, guys. Oh, my God! Oh, even hugs! Hugs for hugging! Yes! Hugs! Yes! Beautiful! Did you see how happy I was about those hugs? It's just so that you know that we know them and they know us. Why? SAPC. We are one. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. You see what I mean? Therefore, they are the SAPC. So are we. So by virtue of... Shared award? Yeah. Shared award? Are we winners as well? Thank you, Metro FM. Thank you. (laughs) Youth absolutely cannot live without their phones. 
But who's the coolest telecoms provider who keeps them connected? Let's find out. The finalists are, in third place, MTN. Second place, Vodacom. And taking the top spot is Telcom. Where's Telcom? Celebrations! A very big well done to absolutely everyone. Also, my VIPs, I have to say, you guys are very shocked, eh, when you're hearing these winners. Like, you didn't vote yourself. You're like, oh, ooh, ah, you voted! Ah, la, la. <laughs> However, now, one of our faves, something we all love, which is television. Which local shows have the youth glued to their screens? We'll find out in the coolest local TV program. And the finalists are, in third place, Gomorra. In second place, Uzalo. And first place goes to who? It goes to who? The River! picture going yes it is yes it is move over just a very difficult to do so in a group here we go <laughs> lovely can we give them another round of applause please guys thank you congratulations guys Ha! Huh? You know that everybody was so like revved up there was a guy in the front he was like yes the river <laughs> We That's your biggest you. fan right there. <laughs> Get some autographs when you're done with this. <laughs> All right, let's find out which TV channels got the nod as the coolest for 2022. Mm -hmm. The finalists are, in third place, Channel O. In second place, Mzanzi Magic. And voted the coolest TV channel for 2022 is Moja <laughs> the faves the passion that is here i love oh. it i am a fan actually with that being said can we try gen next again can we do that because i like i like this vibe you guys got going so when we say gen what you say gen next gen, gen what gen, gen, gen what ah oh, we Ew, love they are it lads, guys tonight. i literally can feel the electricity we hope you can feel the electricity at home too because escom isn't giving you any so you might as well you know what i'm saying we uh, had to we had to yeah sorry not sorry <laughs> But what's keeping the youngsters entertained in the coolest TV channels? Ladies and gents, the finalists are in third place, Boomerang. In second place, Disney 303. And in first place, yet again, it is Cartoon Network. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken oh. dinner. We love it. Man, so obviously we, we're not going to forget that COVID happened. No. Sonele. No. Pandemic. Stop it. I said Stop it. it. I said I said what I said. You are the danger. Mm -hmm. you, but so, 
It's because I'm wearing this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Are yeah. the, the photos coming out? I'm curious. Yeah, I, you are the light. I don't of know. The I'm worried. I'm yeah. worried. I'm so sorry to all the winners <laughs> if the photos are terrible because I'm wearing Lumo Green. You look gorgeous, babe. <laughs> <laughs> now that we get to spend lots of time at home, who is keeping us sane in the coolest TV, streaming content channels and platforms? The finalists are in third place, YouTube. Second place, Showmax, and taking first place and another winner holding on today's title, it's Netflix! <laughs> So just as much as we love picture, we also can't live without music. We all know this. So who keeps the tunes flowing in the coolest music store, website, streaming platform category? And the 2022 finalists are in third place, Fakaza. In second place, wow. YouTube Music. Taking first place is, not surprising, Spotify. So unfortunately, Thanks, Spotify you know. could not be with us today. However, our very cute and very beautiful Jay Bodder will be accepting the award on their behalf. Gaming is something that will always be with us. Mm -hmm. Not something I personally relate to, but it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about these amazing brands. So let's find out who the youth voted on as the coolest gaming console. And the finalists for this year are, in second place, Xbox consoles and... The winner is PlayStation Console. Come on! Yay! Come through, PlayStation. That's right. Can we give them another round of applause, please? Here we go! Talk to you guys. Congrats. I won't lie, I didn't expect that. Like the PlayStation guys showing up in the suits and stuff. I thought it was like hoodies <laughs> and like a t shirt. Stereotypes, I love it. Hey, when I am the danger, and I apologize. I love it, guys. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the winners thus far. But now, let's see what's up in the world of consumer goods, retail, and services. Let's check out the category. I just like spending my pocket money on snacks or treats. I spend most of my pocket money on clothing, either clothing, going out with my friends, um, my hair, like braiding my hair, um, or sometimes I just save it. Um, groceries, clothing, all of those expenses. are spending your money on good things I so, according to me anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right but don't take my advice let's find out who the youth trust with their investments we'll find out in the coolest bank category and the finalists are in third place ned bank in second place fnb and banking first place once again it's capitec <laughs> Keep them going, keep them Come going, on. yes, yes, yes! Cavity! Hi, boo! Come through, guys! Well done. Congratulations! A young picture. Beautiful! So guys, we saw the options for banking, 
So we're not going to keep our money at home like a certain Sir Ramaphosa. We saw what happened at Palapala Pala Farm, all right? Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Zanele, how many jokes did we say about the... I would... So, well, I think we're... Are we capped yet? Yeah. Oh, do you think we're capped or not? I don't, I don't think going? so. Ah, Touch yeah. and go. Oh. The VIP said keep going. <laughs> we're keeping going. Staying with finances. A new category for 2022. The coolest savings and investment platform. And the finest are... In third place, FNB Investor Platform. In second place, African Bank. And taking first place in this new exciting category, Capitec, come on up again! Keep up going, keep up going, Hello. yes! They're coming from the back, come, come. Yo, yes, yes! Woo! Well done, guys! Long time no see. <laughs> Beautiful. Another couple that will be asking for raises come tomorrow. Love that for them. Well done, guys. How do, you, how do the youth get their day started? We'll find out in the coolest breakfast cereal category. And the finalists are, in third place, Wheat Bix. In second place, Kellogg's Cocoa Pops. And taking first place, it's Jungle Oats. I love that. I am a Jungle Oats. I don't know that like the youth of today were so conscious about their health, you know, low GI. No, yeah. no, no, guys. It's seriously, some, some are bodies. But what about the ones from, uh, you know, the, the jungle oats that get the little chocolates in them? Yeah, yeah caramel there we go. chocolate. There we go. You That's see, what I'm talking about. The instant oats so easy. Yes, <laughs> there it. That's where they're getting it right. Okay, okay. Speaking of chocolate, though, let's find out who's melting the hearts of youth in the coolest chocolate category. And the finalists are, ladies and gents. In third place, Cadbury Dairy Milk. Second place, Lunta. <laughs> and then a jump from third place to first place, it is Kit Kat! <laughs> so, the thing is, unfortunately, our winners couldn't be here with us today. Why? They're busy having a break because the marketing team has been working very hard. So you know what it is, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. So moving on to the next category, and this one I feel like Zanin and I both personally relate to. Mm. Um, it's all about energy drinks. Now, we work in radio, some weird hours perhaps, and yeah. you know what th that means. Yeah, we like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m., like we do a show. When like two people are listening, but we're there. You yeah, know we're what I there. Mean? We like, need the energy, and it's exactly. really difficult. And Zanele, the yeah. truth of it is, is uh, she does the daytime show. No, no, I broadcast when the sun's in the sky now. <sighs> I used to do that one, but now like when there's more than two people, I, that's when I get to be I on really wanted style. you guys to think I'm cool. <laughs> do you think I'm cool? Someone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what? I totally had a whole joke plan if you said no. Um, so that went really well for me. All right. Let's find out which coolest energy product is keeping the youth ready and rearing to go. Mm -hmm. And your finalists are, in third place, Energade, second place, Powerade, and giving us wings, yet again, fly onto stage, it's Red Bull Energy Drink. Come on now, come through Red Bull, come through. Beautiful. Can we give them a round of applause, ah, please? Keep it going, guys. Congratulations, Red Bull. Now we need to find out, though, where exactly does the youth of South Africa go to grab a bite? Real quick, real quick. We'll see in the coolest fast food place category. Hmm, who did you vote for, huh? Well, the finalists are VIPs. In third place, Debonez. In second place, KFC. Ah! 
stand in first place yet again. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Show them your chips. Yes! <laughs> Beautiful! Congratulations, McDonald's! <laughs> Staying with the theme of eating out, let's see who our panel voted as the coolest restaurant for 2022. The finalists are, in third place, Mug and Bean. Second place, McDonald's. Sorry. And in third place, first place, sorry, it's going to have to go to Spur Steak Rancho. Yes! I know! There we go! Come through, come through! Love it, love it, ladies. Congratulations. Come on. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys must still tell us what you put in those ribs, hey? Because Yo, they keep me coming sauce. back over and over. Like, come on. Uh, Monique, I want to know, do you throw tantrums sometimes when your parents don't want you to put things in the trolley? Like, I mean, I want to say no, but my mom is watching and... Um, she knows you're lying. Yes. Yeah. Mom yeah. and everyone else at home and our VIPs. Tantrums work. Don't let them tell you otherwise, ne? Keep on. Don't say you heard it yet, but they work, okay? <laughs> Thank you for agreeing, VIP. Dango. We all know that the youth controls what goes into the trolley, but we'll find out where in the coolest grocery store category. And the finalists are, in third place, checkers. In second place, pick and pay. And staying in the number one spot, it is Woolworths! Cameras, many cameras. Many want us. Many. We'll go where you want us. <laughs> Lovely. Amazing. Can we give them a round of applause, please? One more, one more. One more, one more. Lovely. Well done, guys. Incredible. Beautiful. <laughs> Keeping with grocery stores, let's see which of them our youth, that's you, that's you. Wherever you're watching from right That's now. That's not you there in the bank. No, no, no. It's sorry, not, I meant it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see which of you think that, that these brands have the coolest loyalty programs. And the finalists are, in third place, Clicks Club Card. Mm -hmm. In second place, ShopRite Extra Savings. And the winner is Pick and Pay Smart Shopper. <laughs> Is that picket day? Is that picket day? Congratulations! Let's take a big oh, time! Nice! Congratulations! Lovely! Come on now! You know. Yes, pick and pay! Nice. Yes! <laughs> You already knew who was going to win. Hectic vibes. Keep doing what you're doing. Pick and pay. We love it. But there was a point, you know, as South Africans where we were going through a lot. I mean, we always are because there's either load shedding or there's no water. There's always something happening. But then the petrol decided they were also going to jump on. Like, come on, man. Come on. However, there were brands that made it a little bit lighter for us and made it a little bit easier. So let's find out who is fueled to take first place in the coolest petrol station category. And the finalists are in third place. Cultics. In second place, Shal. And while they're still number one this year, it is none other than NJ. <laughs> Woo! Let's keep on giving them a clap. Let's keep on giving them a clap. Well done, well done. 
Lovely looking, gorgeous to oh accept your award. We love to see Come on it. In. Bring it in. Come on. You knew you were going to win. I saw you taking a video there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Congratulations, guys. Number one, indeed. So, because we're human, Zanelli and I obviously know what the munchies feel like, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We get hungry all the time, man. We gotta be refueled, we gotta keep going. So, when the munchies do strike, which is the coolest snack that the youth look for? The finalists are, in third place, Simba. In second place, Lay's. And still bolder than ever, Doritos. Yeah! And number Congratulations! A bold team indeed, we love it. Now, a new category that was introduced only last year and is still with us is one that is flavoring our foods and in the coolest sauce category, we always have to give it to the person who comes first. Who are the 2022 finalists? Well, let's find out. In third place, Mrs. Balls. In second place, all gold tomato sauce. And spicing it all the way to the top, it is none other than Nando! Come through, Nando C. Yes, show us your Nando sauce. Come on. Come on, look at that. Come nice on. Guy. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Allah, la Nando's. Allah, la. Allowing us to take out the future Beyonce in us because we've got hot sauce in our bag, right, guys? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Sure. Incredible. <laughs> all right. From the savory and spicy to all things sweet, let's see who wins in the coolest sweets category. The finalists are mm -hmm. in third place, Amajoya. In second place, Cadbury Eclairs. And in the sweetest of the sweet, first place, Maynards. Come on! Come in threes, we know this. And this is why, in this category, for consumer goods, retail, and services, coolest alcohol, of course, was voted for for those who are older than 18 years old. So many, that means you didn't vote, right? No, no, no. Guys, I'm, Perfect. I'm, I'm a wee child. Come Can you on! Tell? I'm, like, oh, I'm like 16 years old. My oh, little forever, baby. hopefully. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but the finalists are, whew, in third place, Brutal Fruit. In second place, Savannah. And taking the number one place, Dunko Deb and Coco and Uncle Waffles, Jägermeister! just got asked if our j bot is not too young to be handing over. So the thing that I really liked about this category is that our VIPs in front, they were like, because they don't know, which is good, exactly, must good. Day. Yeah. <laughs> good. Now speaking of being young, Zanele, at what age did you start playing with toys? Real talk. 
60 maybe me too yeah like i like them but it's important it's good to you know what it's so amazing to be able to play with toys no matter how old you are uh well i guess maybe there's a cap but i'm not going to get into that so let's find out who the coolest (laughs) toy store category is it's important because toy stores evoke imagination and education through play and we know that if the world is not good at least we have our imaginations wow that got a little bit dark didn't mean that but you know what i mean let's see who the finalists are in third place, Toy Zone. In second place, Crazy Store. And putting joy in kids' hearts and a smile on parents' faces, it's Toys R Us. Yeah! Oh, come on. Guys, the really nice thing is back in the day, ne, there were no influencers. So we couldn't go to like Toys R Us and be like, hey, can I be your brand influencer? Go there, you saw her. So go be like, hey, girl, I have a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? That's good. Make some money, honey. That's good advice. Another category introduced last year is consumer goods, retail, and services. Let's find out who is keeping our general and personal possessions safe in the coolest insurance companies. Here are the 2022 finalists. In third place, Discovery. In second place, Clientel. And jumping from third place to a win in this category, Old Mutual. Congratulations. Unfortunately, Old Mutual could not be with us today. They're taking care of all of the insurance things, you know what I mean? However, we continue. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners in this category. It's been a good one, but we, we move on swiftly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I need to prepare because I need to get my British accent on. Oh. You know, if you're British in the audience and I'm doing a bad job, I'm sorry. I am <laughs> sorry, but let's enter the flashy world of leisure, fame, and fortune for our next set of shiny awards. Anela, how was that, darling? Oh, darling, you sound like you're straight out of Windsor Castle. Thank you so I much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, it is Love time it. for your leisure, fame, and fortune category. Some of the top brands that come to mind for me is Apple, Discovery Bank, Zara, even Mercedes. A cool brand needs to be authentic and iconic. They need to have the latest things and be persuasive. The Pesta, Nike, Converse, New Balance, Sheen, Adidas and Apple, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest. A brand that also sets trends and that just wants to get everyone involved. Um, To me, it would also be a brand that knows its target market really well, knows what they're thinking, what they want, when they want it, um, and even knows what they want before they know they want it. Top brands in my mind right now are Sheen, Nike, and Take A Lot. Cool means that you dress well, you go out often, you have an aesthetic Instagram feed, and you have lots and lots of followers. Oh yes, a shout out to our J Bodders. Brands, I hope you're listening. This is a little bit of a cheat code to see what exactly is happening in the minds of these young kings and queens and just amazing people. But I did want to remind you, whether you are at home or you are here with us today, please do use the hashtag STGenNext as we continue to celebrate all of the brands that are doing the damn thing and making sure that they 100% are listening to the youth. And this is why we love the Gen Next Awards, right? I mean, we've been dying to be here this year. 100%. It's because it is all about you, our VIPs. So when we say Gen what, you say Gen next. Gen, Gen what? Gen next. Gen, Gen what? Gen That's right. Oh. Let's move on to our next category. Because in a country with many amazing sporting legends and stars, let's have a look at the coolest local sports person of 2022. And the finest are, in third place, Temminkosi Lodge. In second place, Percy Tao. 
and making our country proud yet again. Voted number one, it is none other than Sia Kolisi. I don't think any of us were surprised there. Captain, my captain, he continues to do the absolute most. Apparently, he's somewhere off in Argentina Wait, throwing a ball around. He's not here. No, babe. Wait, well, I don't understand. No. What, what, what did you want to do with Sia? What did you want to do? A big, take a photo a, a of him. Oh, uh -uh. Listen, if, I, if we didn't take a photo, I never met him. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Next time. Next time indeed, my babe. <laughs> Brands are always dicing for this spot. But let's see who's revved up to be 2022's coolest motor vehicle. And the finalists are, in third place, Lamborghini. Second place, BMW. It's the best or nothing for Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing indeed. Now, let's have a look at which hot shots make it as coolest online influencer. This one plays a very big role in our lives as young people, yes. Who are they? Well, the finalists are. In third place, Mufasa Casper Vest. In second place, Monang Mateba. And taking the number one spot, Ushem. It is so easy, Shongo. I was, I was bummed. Here we go. Sure, I was bummed about Sia Kulisi, but... <laughs> ah, you got your picture. I so got my picture. So easy. Even I want better. So, I want a solo photo later, though. <laughs> Just saying. We all love getting to stay in hotels with a break away from home, mm -hmm. room service, snacks, and sometimes, preferably, a delicious chocolate on our pillows. So let's see, who did our panel... That's the youth. Vote for the coolest hotel 2022. And the finalists are in third place, Toho Sun. Mm. Second place, Pratia Hotels. And the winner taking you away from the hustle and bustle, it's Sun City Hotel. Yay! I hope you're all continuing to listen properly. We're almost at the end of these awards, hey, and it's making me sad. So sad, but we savor the moments. You know what I mean? It's the little things. Exactly. Should we exactly. Like, talk really slowly? Yeah, Will that make no, it last longer, Monique. Maybe? It's going to cut off the people at home. Please, <laughs> okay, no, come right, on. Right. <laughs> but once again, please don't forget hashtag STGen next. And more than anything else, please continue to have a good time with us and celebrate whether you're at home or with us right here in person. But now, we move on to the last and most anticipated awards as we recognize all of the brands, all of the people who are the uber cool winners. So, of course, everybody, a very big congratulations. But these were the guys who came out tops when it comes to our VIPs and the youth around South Africa. So, the uber cool category. <laughs> I'd say a cool brand is one that allows people to see it as an essential part of their lifestyle. 
a cool brand is something that's different and well to me stylish the most pressing issue in our community is the low cheating crisis and around the world is crime and corruption i wish i could change the unemployment rate honestly something that i wish that i could stop right now in the world is maybe um you know the lack of recycling as well as like the lack of like caring about like the earth and its resources <laughs> You are now parliament, you must fix load shedding, you must fix every, everything in between, you must fix it. But no, genuinely, uh, we care when you guys care about the likes of load shedding, how we can go green, how we can recycle and everything in between. Because that's what Gen Z cares about, right guys? You want to save the planet, correct? Yes. yes, exactly. So, that's why social responsibility is a very important aspect of business. So this new category is particularly cool because it is the coolest brand that cares about the community. Who is getting it right? Your finalists are. In third place, Unilever. In second place, ShopRite. And the winner in this new category, please add two rand for hope, ladies and gents. It is KFC! <laughs> Superman, Super KFC, I think. <laughs> love you, love you. Let's move over a little bit. Yes, yes, we need the KFC in the picture. Lovely. Ha, KFC. There's someone named Joyce at one of the branches. You'll find her. She asked me for four rand the other day. So I think... Congratulations to her as well. Thank you sure. very much. You, yeah. You know what they've done right though is when you when you get to the window and they're like, uh, what do they say? How many hungry kids? Do Add you want hope. To? No, they say how many hungry kids do you want to feed today? Oh, it's, well, it's good because it is. you can't say none. So you end up saying like ten, yes. twenty. Like I, want to, I, I do. We want to feed all the hungry kids. Exactly. Am I right? Hundred percent. Right. And that's why it's a big shout out to KFC. Please keep Amazing. doing what you're doing. Amazing. Okay. So, believe it or not, we're actually at the end, pretty much, um, and this is a big one. Mm -hmm. The final award celebrates the ultimate definition of cool. It's the coolest brand overall. Is everyone ready, though? Is everyone ready? The Ooh. coolest brand overall. <laughs> okay, put on your big old pants, panties, I'm not Here sure. Here we go. The finalists are, in third place, Adidas. In second place, BMW. And once again, the youth have spoken. This year's coolest brand winner again is Nike. And if you have any extra shoes there at the factory that you're not using, we're all available. All of us here, we're here. Very well done to you. Let's hear what our j botters though, had to say about this winning brand. Because at the end of the day, it is about what the youth has to say. I think Nike made it to the top of the list again because they definitely fit the cool culture. I'm not surprised Nike has been voted the coolest brand. I mean, have you seen Nike? <laughs> Nike is the top brand because of their adverts. The people that promote their brands are influencers that everybody likes and adores. And they're constantly releasing motivational quotes. Can we give them another round of applause? Oh man, what a dope accolade. Literally voted the best by the youth in South Africa. So a very big shout out to you guys. However, ladies and gents, I want to ask you, and I need a very big response so everyone at home gets jealous as much as we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy the 18th Sunday Times Gen Next Awards? Woo!
Nazo! We had such a good time with you, whether it was you that is with us, our VIPs, as well as you, Brands. A very big congratulations to you. And thank you so much for joining us at home. Remember, the conversation continues on social media, be it Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, hashtag STGenNext. But that brings us to the end of the 2022 Gen Next Awards. And a very big thank you goes out to Sunday Times and, of course, our 2022 partners for this wonderful event. Our headline sponsors, Khao Train Management Agency and Brand SA Yellowwood. As our research partner, of course. Where are you, Yellowwood? You were making noise earlier. Uh, there we go. Yes. There we go. Must keep the same energy. It's still early. Come on. Then, of course... Award-winning Mercedes-Benz, Standard Bank, Proudly South African, Penpop, Telcom, Doritos, McDonald's, and Cliff Central as our corporate partners. Thank you so much to my very beautiful co-host. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Oh. Monique, I had so much fun with you, babe. Honestly, it was a pleasure to share the stage with you. You are honestly the coolest. I've oh. had the coolest time. And you obviously get my vote for the coolest co-host. Now, please make me a co-host on your radio show. Oh, hey, yes, 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 yes. The people have spoken. But it's ah. not about us. <laughs> it is about you. The coolest of coolest audiences. Honestly, you guys get that award. Those of you here as well as those of you watching at home. Yeah. We couldn't have asked for more. 100%. And as cool as it is getting to stream things which COVID-19 forced us to learn, it is always so much better getting to be with you in person. So thank you so much to each and every one of you that did show up. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for coming back and being where you belong. And to all of the brands, once again, thank you for caring about what the youth has to say. Because I also always look at it as a little bit of an investment, because yes, you have them now, but then you have them for the future as well. And that's amazing. But a very big congratulations to each and every one of you as well, our finalists, as well as our winners. And oh, Monique, I'll see you there at 5 FM, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, What's tomorrow? Essentially, yeah. <laughs> From myself, Sadele, there's a whole lot of love. I'd say goodbye. And from me, Monique, I love you guys. And all the winners, please, can you stay afterwards for a little group photo? And that is it. Thank you and good night, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank you.